Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Light Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. Going to be doing a love reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus signs. I am going to tap into the energies of love that are surrounding you at this time. See what message your angels and guides have for you. If you're a cross watcher here for Libra, please flip switch the energies and rolls. Don't force these messages as this is a collective reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I do have personals and you can connect with me through the email that is provided in the description box below. What is the energy of love surrounding Libra at this time and what did they need to know? So I'm going to start with a uh, situation card and then I'm going to clarify your person here with tarot. Bottom of the deck, heartbreak in the reverse, heartbroken in the reverse. It says deeply hurt and sad, feeling lost, grieving, despair, and breakup, but in the reverse. So I feel that you're healing from a cycle of pain or previous disappointment in regards to love. Um, you could have been, you could have a bit of a barrier or a guard in regards to love now because you've been betrayed in some capacity. Backstabbing, heartbreak and pain, separation, loss, deception, lies, shocking attack. Mirror, mirroring each other, self-reflection, inner wounds, passion. So something definitely has lost its lackluster here. There's pain attached to this energy. And there's something of hiding your feelings. So either you've pulled your energy back from this person, Libra, or this person has pulled their energy back from you. Because there was a lack of growth. A lack of common ground somebody somebody betrayed somebody here and it could have been in regards to passion or sexual gratification is what i'm getting i need to clarify this now with tarot to dive deeper into your person so let me know in the comments below if this is resonating i do feel from the oracle that someone betrayed you in regards to passion in regards to a commitment somebody betrayed a bond through sexual gratification and this is someone that you have blocked because there's no growth within this connection flip it switch it however it resonates let's see your person here please show me the person that's connecting make sure all of this is in the camera please show me the person that is connecting to Libra at this time what does Libra need to know call upon my angels and guides to protect my energies I channel this message for Libra's greatest highest good Again, calling upon Libra's spirit guides and angels to show what Libra needs to know about this energy that's coming in towards them in regards to love. How does this person feel about Libra as well as any future actions, intentions, and the outcome and advice? Last shuffle. What does Libra need to know about this person and this situation of love? So this is the Mystical Moments deck for those of you that are interested. So we do have the Death card here. That's Scorpio energy. So there has been some type of an ending for sure. And it wasn't easy because there's a, a feeling of emptiness attached to this ending. But you can see in the picture that there's flowers growing now where there was once emptiness. So you've been, you've been replacing this emptiness with very worthwhile things or putting your time and energy into very worthwhile things you're growing something very beautiful inside of yourself and I'm just drawn to the butterfly which is about transformation so you have walked away from someone and it has been for your greatest highest good it has put you on a path of new discovery awesome we've got the moon and the sun so light in the dark, learning from our cycles. That's what you're showing me here, Libra, that you've taken something that was painful and you've created something beautiful. Spirit is acknowledging that you have taken this time and done some very important work. You've healed something within yourself. Could be these inner wounds that, that are in the reverse, mirroring. So there's someone that was attached to you, pretended to be similar to you, pretended to be of the same vibration, pretended to care about the same things that you cared about. And this person ended up gaslighting you. There's an energy of you having to have separation. There was an energy of a shocking attack. So this person pretended to be somebody they weren't is what I'm getting. And they betrayed you in regards to love. 
and you had to close out this cycle. Like I said, could be a Scorpio, could be a Pisces, could be a Leo. Bottom of the deck energy on this, we do have the Nine of Swords. So you were dealing with someone that was, um, you know, narcissistic, basically. A narcissist comes into your life, Libra, and they pretend to be the answer to all of your prayers. Whatever it is that you need, whatever it is that you want, I've got that. I've been looking for you. I've been waiting for you, Nine of Swords energy. I am going to attach to you and I'm going to promise you all of these things and then I'm going to give you nothing and then I'm going to take from you. And then you're going to see that we are not the same person at all, that I was playing games. But whatever it is that you've walked away from was for your greatest, highest good. So I'm uh, there's acknowledgement that it was very difficult. Absolutely. But from that is your transformation. Nine of Swords energy. You could have walked away from a Gemini. Page of Swords. It's part of the learning cycle is what I feel. You're dealing with someone that's mentally unwell. Someone that does this. Like... Uh, there's that meme, healthy people don't go around destroying people's lives, right? So whomever was was connected to you was very, um, very broken individual to have put you in this energy. Like their future actions and intentions towards you is the moon. The moon is secrets. So this person kept a lot of secrets. This person operates in the dark, right? This person was scheming. This person had an agenda, right? Knight of Swords. Page of Swords, the Hierophant in the reverse, Six of Wands in the reverse. Could have been dealing with Leo. This is someone that came into your life and saw that you had a lot. That you were building something. Right? They saw that they had an in Nine of Wands. There was something that you were working on that you were expanding with. And they saw that they had a way in. So they came into your life, Six of Wands in the reverse. Offered you nothing. Or offered you everything but gave you nothing, right? All talk, no action is what I'm getting here. Six of Wands in the reverse, Leo, Hierophant in the reverse, Taurus. So they offered you a relationship, offered you everything, like I said, that you wanted, and then gave you nothing. Took, took everything from you, broke you, essentially. Page of Swords, Nine of Swords. This, this left you, this cycle left you in a place where you had... A struggle to get back but you are on your way back this person sees that as well so if this person is still able to watch you we did have that page of swords nine of swords this person knows that they hurt you in a certain way or they know that you will be okay but they certainly do know that they hurt you because this is how they feel about you death energy they do feel that you have uh, left them behind for something better. Now, future actions and intentions of this person, we've got Pisces energy with the moon. It's uncertain because this person operates in a dark place. This person comes from shadow, right? So it's hard to say how they're going to approach you from this vantage of the moon because that's an illusion, right? But ultimately the outcome of the situation and the advice is the sun. So the sun is happiness and it's Leo energy as well. So I'm not sure if you have Leo in your chart, or if there's a Leo coming towards you, but it's about illuminance, it's about a higher vibration, Libra, is what I'm getting here. You're moving towards the light, right? You're expanding your vibration from, from this empty place you are, you are creating, cultivating something very beautiful that is going to increase your vibration, that is going to put you on the path towards the sun. And it's also validating that you now see the situation clearly, right? You were attached to somebody very low vibrational that had a lot of secrets, that had hidden agendas. This person came into your life and pretended to be exactly what you were, what you wanted. But through this, there was backstabbing, right? This is someone that um, possibly was entertaining outside of the connection with you. But from this, there's growth, right? There's rebirth. And, and ultimately, there's happiness. My, my curiosity lays with the moon. What is the moon? The moon is this person's future actions and intentions, right? So I'm going to clarify this now with um, a different deck. I'm going to go with the vice versa deck where I have a light and a shadow um, energy on either side. Ah, sorry. Spirit guides and angels, please allow me to clarify this message deeper for Libra. Why is death here? As this person's feelings towards Libra, why is the death card here? So like I said, you could be dealing with a water sign. This is someone that if they're watching you, are watching you evolve, right? They left you very broken and now you're in this energy of birthing something very beautiful. Like you're on the cusp 
of a new cycle where there's going to be a lot of beautiful things. I mean, you're moving towards the sun. And so if this person is watching you, they are watching you in that energy. Last shuffle. Spirit, give me more energy on that death card, please. Bottom of the deck, three of swords, Libra energy, your energy, validating. There was heartbreak here, right? Betrayal. And that's on the light. And then we have temperance on the shadow side. So we've got Sagittarius Libra energy here and the eight of cups. So you did walk away because of this imbalance, because of the pain that was caused in this relationship, because of the betrayal. So this person sees you as someone that is rebuilding, that is going to transform the pain that was caused into something beautiful. We do have the seven of wands in the reverse, eight of wands, and then the five of wands in the reverse on the shadow. So I do feel that if this person is watching, they are looking for an opportunity to come back into your energy. So be mindful of that. This may be someone that is wanting you to lower your boundary. When we have the seven of wands, it's about boundaries. It's about protecting your heart. It's about protecting your home. It's about protecting your growth. So if this person is watching you, they are wanting you to put your boundaries down. We do have eight of wands. So seven of wands in the reverse, eight of wands. This person would like an opportunity to reestablish some type of connection with you, right? They would like you to lower your boundaries. So you may have this person blocked in some capacity. I feel they're watching you though through alternative means, maybe social media, maybe through friends. This person is wanting you to lower your boundaries so they can establish some type of communication is what I feel here but you've moved away, eight of cups, temperance, three of swords, and then the five of wands. So we've got five, seven, eight, and the five is in the reverse on the shadow. So I do feel if you were to let this person, I think that spirit saying, if you were to accept this person's communication, um, be mindful that this person is trying to lure you back into some type of competition. Right, This is someone that still has a lot of other people attached to them. It could be Leo. So we have Sagittarius and Leo energy attached to your person. So let me know if that resonates, you guys. But there is heartbreak and pain still attached to this energy, right? There was possibly third party with the passion card in the reverse. Insane chemistry, sparks, having fun, equal interest, burning desire. This is someone that betrayed you in regards to emotion, promised you everything, but yet gave you nothing and was entertaining third parties. So you had no choice but to walk away from this person. Why is the moon here for this person's future actions towards Libra? Why is the moon here? So a moon energy is Pisces, doesn't have to be. Give me more on that moon for this person's future actions and intentions towards Libra. We've got the Eight of Swords in the reverse. We've got the Queen of Pentacles in the upright, but on the shadow. That represents Virgo. And then we've got the Sun in the reverse. And we also have the Knight of Wands bottom of the deck on this person's future actions. Knight of Wands is Sagittarius. I don't know if you're dealing with Sag, Libra. This person operates under an illusion, right? This is someone that you have freed yourself from. This person's toxicity, this person's lies and deceptions kept you trapped for a long time. It kept you from investing in the things that you needed to be investing in with that Queen of Pentacles on the shadow side. Right, It kept you from making investments in self. It kept you from making investments that were going to contribute to your happiness. You, you ignored your things because this person was in your head, right? Promised you everything. And I mean, you were there was an attraction here. I do feel that with that Knight of Wands, right? But because we've got the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles on the shadow, and then the Sun in the reverse, Leo energy again, Virgo, Eight of Swords is Gemini. We've got Pisces. I mean, all the elements are here, but this person's bullshit kept you very much on focus from what you needed to focus on. So now you're free is what I'm getting. You're free. So this person kept you from moving towards the light, meaning this person kept you from happiness. This person kept you on the path of expansion. 
that the universe is offering to you, once we level up, once we acknowledge and, and start trusting and get in the flow of the universe, there's level up. And this person kept you from that because you weren't invested in yourself. You were invested in this person's bullshit and they ended up backstabbing you is what I feel. So now you have an opportunity to move, to move to a new level of happiness, a new level of expansion. And you see it clearly because you see this person clearly now where you didn't for a very long time. So let's see what the outcome is. So I ask if you have not done so, please subscribe to my channel. If you like the way I read, let me know. If it resonates, let me know. And I'll start doing Libra readings a lot more. I appreciate your support. The sun is the outcome. What is the outcome for Libra in regards to this energy or connection? Advice and outcome. So the sun is a positive um, energy, right? We've got four of cups. You you know, you're releasing the pain of the situation. You're blocking this person. You are no longer giving this person energy. I feel that your focus now is on healing, letting go of the pain, right? And you are in this energy of transformation, healing, starting a new cycle, being happy, right? Four of cups in the reverse that's cancer energy. It is about letting go of negative thought patterns, feeling like you're not good enough. What could have I done differently? What could you have done differently? Completely avoided this person because this is all fear-based. This is all someone who came in and offered you everything and then operated on your insecurities. You were dealing with a narcissistic individual, so there's nothing you could have done differently. Spirit is acknowledging that you're on the you know, the cusp of a new vibration, a new expansion, a new level. So let go of anything of lack here because there's nothing that you could have done differently with the Knight of Swords. Block this person is what I feel. You're moving towards a new cycle where there's going to be abundance. There's happiness. There's elevation. There's growth. Beautiful energy. So that's the message that I have for you, Libra. Please let me know if it resonates. Take care. Bye.